Next we will be creating a tail for Doug the dog. Now we are making use of a pipe cleaner inside the tail in order to give it its bendability and poseability. I have fairly short pipe cleaners, they're about 20 centimeters long. So how you're going to do it is you take your pipe cleaner and you fold it in half. If yours is longer you're just going to want to cut it a bit shorter. Okay, fold it like that. We're then going to take some electrician's tape and we're just going to wrap it around the end that's got the sharp section. So we want to close this up together and make sure that there's no sharp ends anywhere that could possibly hurt a child who plays with Dunk the Dog. And you just use your electrician tape like that to close it up. So you've created the bendy part that's going to go inside the tail and you can put this aside for now. Next we're going to be making the tail for Doug the dog. We're going to start off with a slip knot on our hook. We will then chain two. That's one, two. And we're going to make six single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So that is one, two, three, four. five and six which brings us to the end of round one. You can also use a magic circle instead of a chain two. I just prefer the chain two because a it's easier for a beginner to do and b it holds your tail in place more firmly. For round two we're going to make six single crochets, that is one in each of our existing stitches. So that is number one. And number two, you'll notice that it starts curving immediately because we're not making any increases so it's immediately going to a bowl. It's number three. Three. That's exactly the result that you want. Number four. Number five. And number six, which brings us to the end of round two. Now for rounds three, round four and round five, we're going to do exactly the same thing, making six single crochets all the way around. So I'm going to show you that section in fast forward. For round seven we're going to make six increases, that is one in each of our existing stitches. So that's increase number one. Increase number two. Increase 
piece number three. Increase number four. Increase number five. And our final increase, number six. We're then going to finish off with a slip stitch in our next stitch. Leave a bit of a tail because you're going to be using this to sew the tail onto the body. And just pull through. And that is the tail of Doug the Dog. Next we're going to be inserting the pipe cleaner into the tail. Now if we just insert it like this, you'll notice that it's quite a bit longer than our tail is and we don't want it quite that long. So what I'm doing is on this tip where we did the original bend, I'm just going to create a second bend where I'm going to take about half a centimeter and I'm just going to bend it over like that just to shorten our pipe cleaner a tiny little bit and it makes this point a bit fatter now this doesn't have any sharp edges so we don't need to tape it but you can tape it if you want to we then push it into the tail and we are now ready to attach the tail to Doug the dog okay now with inserting the tail we do want to create a little bit of an anchor point so we've got our knot that we made when we did the belly button and we're going to insert this part of a wire that's been taped in the hole just below the knot. So one part of the knot is actually coming out of this opening. You just want to push it in there until it's flush with the body. If you struggle to get it in, take your hook and just widen the opening a little bit before you push the tail in. Now at this point you can see it's actually sitting quite nicely in position but we can still pin it into place just to make things a little bit easier when we are sewing. It's not nice when things move around when you're sewing. So we simply pin it into place, make sure that it's actually covering the knot that we did and then we're ready to start sewing. As always, when we sew, we're going to be making use of invisible stitches. So every time we work through the body, we are going to make sure that we are inserting our needle underneath the tail rather than next to the tail, just to create a nice smooth effect. And we're simply going to be stitching all the way around the tail using this yarn tail that we had left over at the end of our crochet job. There we go. It's enough stitches to be able to remove the pins. The stitches we've made so far will actually hold the tail into place while we stitch the rest of the way around. Now you'll notice that we're not adding any stuffing to the tail at all. The pipe cleaner on its own is sufficient to fill out the tail. It doesn't need anything more than that. Okay. And remember, the smaller you make your stitches and the more closely together they are, the neater your end result will be. Uh, if you've worked close to each other and nice and neat, you won't need to go all the way around for a second time. If you've spaced your stitches quite far apart, you may want to take a second 
lap around the tail before you finish off. I work nice and closely together so I need not do that. I'm just going to go out at a random stitch. Can be a bit tricky with the wire that's now inside the body. It sometimes gets in the way of your needle and your yarn. Just want to move a little bit further away from the tail before I slip, slip off. There we go. We don't have anything to tie it off to, so we're just going to slip it off. And that gives us the tail properly attached. You've got the wire inside, so you can now easily bend the tail into any shape that you would like it to take, whether it's up, down, curved, straight, entirely up to you. And this is what your result should look like now that we are done with Doug the dog. He is ready to enjoy.